Never let your success be defined by the judgments of others. In 1633, the Roman Inquisition tried Galileo Galilei for supporting heliocentrism and other philosophies that contradicted the church. He was judged to be a heretic, sentenced to house arrest for the remainder of his life, and banned from publishing any further works. Ignoring that judgment, Galileo declared, the authority of a thousand is not worth the humble reasoning of a single individual and then published his most famous works. Galileo succeeded. In 2012, Edward Snowden began revealing information to the world about the global surveillance programs of the United States government. He stated, I understand that I will be made to suffer for my actions. Snowden's actions helped to restore the attitude that no entity should ever be trusted with unchecked power, the very attitude upon which the United States was founded. Snowden was indeed judged by his nation to be a traitor, and he was forced to flee his country. But no one could undo what he had done. Snowden succeeded. Alice and Bob were both ambitious students in school. Alice set a goal to achieve a 4.0 grade point average. Bob set a goal to become an expert in his field of study. A crummy teacher gave them both unfair grades that they did not deserve. Bob succeeded. Charlie and Doris worked at the same company. They both wanted to be promoted. Charlie set a goal to get that promotion. Doris set a goal to deserve it. Charlie began currying the favor of all the right people. Doris began working harder to be of value to her company. In the end, there was only one open position and only one of them was promoted. Doris succeeded. Emily lived in fear that she might not be judged worthy to go to heaven. Frank always tried to do what was right but didn't worry about the afterlife. He said, whether God is just, that's his problem. To Frank, the judgments of God didn't matter. Even if there really was no God, Frank knew he could not change that. Frank succeeded. Do you live with stress? Do you fear the possibility of failure? Are you bothered by the corruption or unfairness of others? Then stop defining your success by decisions that others will make. This is the choice that lets you rise above corruption. It is the secret that gives rest to your mind in turbulent times. It is the path to living by your ideals in a non-ideal world. It offers inner peace despite outer conflicts. Those who learn this lesson do not fear how they will be judged. When they become who they want to be, they are content because no one else's judgment matters. Having succeeded for themselves, they can turn their attention toward helping others. Thus, ironically, those who care the least about the judgments of others become those who care the most about others. They are the people who live as part of something greater than themselves. It might be argued that this philosophy is impractical because seeking approval is what humans do. But it's not all that humans do. Humans also work to progress and to help each other to progress. This is not something that needs to be done for honors. We can do it because of what it is and because of who we are. You too can live for who you are. The way is to stop defining your success by the judgments of others.